Hello, my name's David Farmhalls, and I'm running for president. And I think I finally figured out what my error was here on my cards. I wasn't showing one at the end, and it, uh, doing that, you weren't able to see the number of the 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 number of the campaigns. I'm going to show the card both at the beginning and the end because at the end it shows the the end of the video and you can't see the number of the 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 campaign so i'm going to show the number of the campaign at the end so you can tell one from the other anyways uh i repeat myself on all of these so it probably don't make any difference having them numbered but if i number them you can tell one from the others and maybe you can separate them a little more but here's the, something I mentioned on earlier and the, the other ones a long time ago when I was doing campaigns. That's like um, single family households. And I'm doing it this a little separate. We may have to split up the school year in a separate way. That's like you're not voting for me, you're voting for ideas. And that's like, like there's a three month or a nine month school year with three months off. We may have to take this three months off and split it into a three-month section where, like, you know, the 50%, I think it was 50% of the uh, households are, uh, un are, uh, are like uh, parents that are a single-family household. Or when your kids are out of school, I think the uh, parents that ought to not be working to watch after the families or after the kids. When the kids are out of school, the parents ought to be out watching the kids. We have three months there when everybody, half the people be out of work. So you ought to split up the three months into the 12 years of school to where, you know, and he, he, I think people will understand what I'm saying, where every three months, you know, a third or, you know, a, well, every three months, a fourth or whatever, People wouldn't be working, and then the rest of the year, you'd be back to work to where I think it would work out, to where you'd, part of the year you'd be working, and part of the year you'd be watching your kids, half of the people. And then the rest of the people uh, are just working all the time. It might not be fair, but it's better than having the kids get into trouble because they're not supervised. And it's cheaper than sending them to prison when they get older. Because if you're not supervised, you go out and get into trouble. And it's cheaper to let the parents, I mean, it may not be cheaper than, you know, it's cheaper to pay somebody to watch your kids if you're a parent because you care about them. And you, being that you care about them, you'll keep them out of trouble, I hope than it is to watch somebody in prison and pay for somebody to watch them for the rest of their lives. But that's just one thought. And I don't know whether other people will agree with me, but you'd be, electing the, you'd be electing my ideas rather than electing me. And the reason the, where this money will come from, and I said it in... The, the video number three and one, two, three and all the other videos. In times of war, you always seem to come up with enough money, enough money to fight the war. And if you don't, then you lose the war, the money's no good. And either you're dead or you're in a work camp or you're in a bad situation. And uh, uh, so if you can come up with enough money in war, you should be able to come up with enough money in peace. And if you can come up with enough money in peace, it regardless of how much money it costs, a little bit of money and a lot of bit of money, a lot of bit of money ain't any difference. With just a little bit of money and a lot of bit of money, just a whole bunch of money ain't any different. But I don't know, maybe I don't make any sense. But that city that has it, and I was just saying that earlier, oh yeah, out in California when they have an earthquake, 
the whole state of California gets into big trouble. When you have a disaster, how do they pay for it? They should, you know, the federal government has to go in and have it, you know, pay for it. And I, you know, so the construction workers are $300 an hour. That just be a given. They may get more than that, 60, 40, where the company would get 40% on $300 an hour, and the, the person to get 60% of $300 an hour, and you just go in there, and you may have to get more than that, and build the best highway you can, better maybe, because you got to build it to, um, earthquake proof, and build a better highway system. Maybe go in there and fix it up now, before it quits. And reinforcing buildings. I mean, I know I don't I don't live out there, so I don't know what they're doing. But, and you, how, where do you get this money from? In times of war, you don't fret. You know, you don't pinch pennies when you know there there no the enemies on the way over here. You don't say, "Well, we can't afford to defend ourselves." You go ahead and defend yourself as best as possible and defeat the enemy. You defeat, not so much defeat the earthquake, but you build, you build that building up to where it don't fall on you. You reinforce the building so it don't fall on you when you know there's going to be an earthquake. When you know there's going to be a flood, you build around that building so the flood don't get you. And when your neighbor's house blew away, you go rebuild his house. You don't let him be without. When your neighbor's uh, house burnt down, you rebuild his house, you don't make him set out in the cold. All these soldiers that are out without houses, we should be building them houses, or, you know, houses. These veterans, we should be building them houses. These ha soldiers that uh, had arms dismantled, we should, if we can build a million dollar plane that blew the arm off, we should be building robot arms for the soldiers. If we can build that, if we can spend that much money on a bomb, we can build that, spend that much money on a so robot arm. And I don't want to say it, but. Shame on our military. Well, and here I'm, I'm, I don't want to do any farther. I just want to see if this is the right way to go. So I'm going to hold this up, slide that out, and just hold this up at the end and see if this is the right way to go. Get that out here. Hold that, hold that up. Hold this over and shut that off.